All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, guys, to another breezy cast. Uh, we are moving on in the round of eight uh, to our last match between Tag Rock and Roland. Um, Rock is here up, up on the north side in the orange, playing as Arm, and then on the bottom we have Roland playing as Core in the blue. Rock asking Roland how long he's been playing. Uh, Roland is uh, a little background history on Roland. He's a uh, he's only been playing online for a couple of months, I believe. Uh, he might have played in the past. I'm not sure, but he's definitely one of the newer players. So uh, tag Rock definitely expected to to win this, um, um, and he's definitely the favorite to either win the whole tournament or at least get to the finals. So. We'll see if Roland can uh, take out Rock, you know? That'd be pretty dope. At least take a game off of him, we'll see. Looks like Rock's gonna open up with some fleas. So in Total Annihilation, there's two resources. We got energy and we got metal. Um, so to get metal, you need to build construction units, which is basically your builders. Um, your builders can do quite a wide variety of tasks. Uh, they can help you build basically everything your comm can, at least the tier one uh, builders. So he's going to build a missile turret here, which is an anti-air um, turret, but it also shoots ground as well. So it's all around good, cheap, efficient defense. It's always nice to have one in your main base, just in case uh, they, they do very well against these fleas, like little fleas or Jeffy rushes. Looks like Roland's going to put the pressure on right away, getting five AKs right off the bat. Six, and it looks like seven. Um, I don't like this choice of... Uh, Pulling all the AKs back for one or two fleas. Um, your best bet would be make a crash rat of here, which is a long range. Um, it's basically like a mobile missile tower. Uh, and that would definitely kill these fleas off a lot easier than chasing them down with these AKs. Roland going to walk his comm over, try to degun it, but the fleas are very quick, so it's going to make it hard for him to do. It's already a pretty rough start for Roland here. And now Rock has pumped out a bunch of peewees of his own to defend against the AKs that he did see. So yeah, Roland, <coughs> excuse me, in big time trouble here. As uh, these fleas are still alive, uh, Roland doesn't have radar up yet so you can't even uh, radar target these um, by the way this map is open palms another supreme commander remake uh, another rock made by or another rock another map made by rock It is so nice. Like these these new maps he makes, like the rendering on it is so nice. It it makes the game look a lot better, to be honest. Um, you you'll see a huge difference from like the old maps uh, to these new ones. It's it's actually night and day, the difference. So Rock, he's got four cons out already, and he's. Putting the pressure on, ground firing these Ulog trees that, um, if you watched uh, my last series between Timmy, Fred, and Frieza, um, I talked about how these these trees here they give you 50 metal, 150 energy. So you do want to use your construction construction units to go reclaim those, as it is just free metal and energy sitting on the map. It's, you mostly reclaim these for the metal, but the energy is nice as well. But yeah, any any free metal you can find on the map, you definitely want to grab that as soon as possible. Uh, 
But Rock's doing a good job. He, he's ground firing these and see it, it, what it does is it burns. They catch on fire and they burn and then it loses the, the metal value and a lot of the energy value too. So that's, he's basically denying Roland reclaim. And here's Rock already all over the place attacking from multiple different angles. I don't think Roland can keep up with the multitasking. Um, where he's definitely spreading uh, Roland's APM very thin here. Meanwhile, Rock is just pretty much starting to just take over his whole side. Got this nice little raid here from Roland. But it looks like Rock is already sending units in pursuit to stop that. This little area, the starting area, see, it's kind of... If you get stuck in this starting area, it makes it so hard to get out of it once you're kind of surrounded. Um, and that's kind of what we're seeing here. Rock's kind of like surrounding him with just way more units. And Roland's just having a hard time getting out of here. <laughs> He's kind of just stuck in his main base. Uh, we'll speed it up just a tad. Rock building a light laser tower, which this should be able to defend this whole little area right here. And so it's going to cover all these uh, metal deposits. Uh, LOTs, very nice on like nice little tight chokes like this. As um, say if this was like a lot more open, no choke here. Uh, missile towers would probably do a little bit better as they have way longer range. But since these are nice little tight chokes, these uh, light laser towers do quite well. And if you put dragon's teeth around them, like Rock's doing right now, actually these AKs and Peewees, they can't even shoot the laser tower because these uh, dragon teeth block it. So it's like, once you get this surrounded with dragon teeth, it's like really nice defense. It's hard to break it. You have to make um, either thuds or raiders for the core or stumpies and hammers for the arm to counter that as they can shoot over the dragon teeth. Oh, man, I, f I feel bad for Roland here. He's he's just having a hard time to get anything going. He can't even take these little outer mexes here. He's really just stuck in his corner. Rock being kind of a bully here. Showing off. Now he's going air for a bomber. Which honestly... He only has one missile turret, so it might actually do quite well. <laughs> Roland says, rude. Uh, meanwhile, Rock is kind of just slowly just taking over his side. And he's rushing a geothermal plant, which this gives you a big chunk of energy. I think, I'm not sure the exact number. It's probably around like 200 plus. Maybe 250, uh, I don't quite remember. And it looks like Rock did a bomb run and it barely survived, so he's gonna build this last Dragon Teeth, repair that bad boy and send him back in. But uh, Roland does have Slashers now, which is, uh, they do shoot air and ground. It's basically uh, the mobile missile turret of uh, the vehicle, or vehicles. Roland rebuilding his metal extractors in the back. Looks like Roland might finally get this first outer layer metal deposit for himself. And Rock's gonna rush advanced cable. I actually like this a lot because um, it's kind of hard to break this little choke here with just uh, tier one units. Um, it, it's going to be a lot easier to finish the game with uh, Tier 2. So he's probably going to get... Alright, so he's building a FARC. A FARC is basically... Um, you use it for build power. It's a lot of build power. Um, which you'll probably... 
Yeah, so he builds one FARC and he's probably just going to put it on this factory. So it, it increases or decreases the build time of the units. Yeah, Rock is just bullying rolling at this point with the bombers. And now he's starting to pump out warriors. This should be the nail in the coffin here once he groups all this up and send it in. Um, these bombers are actually quite nice because they can bomb these outer mexes without really taking any damage as there's no uh, anti-air out here. And it looks like Roland's just going to send his attack here on the left side and pray that he can do some damage back to Rock somehow. But Rock's got LLTs in good spots, and he's got him surrounded with Dragon Teeth, so it's going to be pretty much impossible. I mean, if he gets in here, <clears throat> gets in here right now, he can take it out, which he does. So good move there by Roland, but does lose a lot of AKs in the process. And now the tier two unit, the warrior, um, which is basically like your, it's basically like the Pee Wee for tier two. It's a good all around raider, but has a lot more uh, hit points. And the DPS is quite high. So they, they pump damage, man. They're, they're very good. Raiders, they're fast. And uh, honestly, this should be the nail in the coffin here. Where is Roland's commander? There he is. Look at this guy, man. Huh? I respect Roland. He's not he's not going to quit without a fight. I mean, a lot of reclaim being left here. And he's... Roland's building... These are pretty strong tier 1 units. But uh, these warriors are just... On another level. And here goes Roland. He's already... Look how fast he drops on HP there. Like, those things just pump DPS. Alright, so game 1 goes to Tag Rock. And I will see you guys on game two very shortly. As soon as this, uh, <laughs> I might actually have to back out. Sometimes this happens where it doesn't, um, it doesn't really exit you out. Oh. All right, guys, catch you on game two. All right, guys, we're back with game two between Tag Rock and Roland. Uh, on this, this is Comet Catcher you guys but rock has re-rendered it so it looks it just it looks amazing now but just a classic ota map um if you're wondering what ota is it's basically just the original game the original total annihilation game it's one of the the og maps um i've noticed um so these newer players seem to make this mistake they'll build uh way too much energy early on like, see, he's he's just accessing so much energy here that he doesn't really need. Usually when you want to do a start, you build uh, one solar. You know, take at least two mexes. I would take three, depending on the distance between them. Because you want to you wanna keep as much metal in your bank, in your storage, for when you start this factory. Because once the factory's finished, you want to have as much metal as possible in your storage to... Uh, to get units and co uh, construction, uh, your builders, you need metal for that. And to also to build more energy once you start um, guarding the factory. So usually you want to start out with one, one solar or if it's a wind map, one wind. And then take probably like two or three mexes depending on the, the distance between them before you need more energy. And then you'll have a bunch more metal in your storage to do... To do certain things. See, Ro uh, Roland's stalling on metal now because he he probably spent 
uh, a good chunk of his starting metal building these solars that he didn't really need early on. Because let's say okay, you build a solar and then you build these mechs, you get about plus seven on the third mechs, plus six, plus seven. And then when you build your next solar, you're not losing as much out of your metal storage because you're you're making plus six. So it really helps uh, save you a ton of metal. Um, I try to teach the, the newer players this. Um, I say it over and over and over, but I don't know. They don't. It takes a while for it to click. So. Looks like Rock is just building a bunch of cons. He's got three out already, and he's going to build some uh, Jeffies now. Probably do a little bit of scouting and see if Roland is sending anything at him. Um, interesting start by Roland. He's going K-Bots. The, the problem with K-Bots on this, on this map is it's... Um, Comet Catcher is actually a pretty decently sized map. It's pretty big, and these construction K-Bots are um, a little bit on the slower side, so you'll, you'll notice Rock's going to like out-expand him pretty quickly here because he has vehicle. These vehicle, um, they move a lot faster. So he's going to be able to, and they also have more build power too, so. You'll notice that Rock's going to just start taking over the whole map. Meanwhile, Roland. You definitely want to go vehicle first here. But he's pumping out a bunch of AKs. Um, usually when you go K-Bot, you, you do not really want to be defensive with it. As um, if you go K-Bot... Especially K-Bot versus Vehicle, because if it's if they're going Vehicle, uh, you basically you're you're on a clock because the these flashes and instigators they're they have a lot more hit points than AKs and Peewees do, so uh, they become way more efficient in numbers. So you really want to hit them early and do a bunch of damage uh, early on with the AKs, as they don't scale very well. Rock doing nice little rating with that Jeffy gets a gets a mix. And you can already see like look how far Rock's cons out. They're already getting towards the center of the map. Meanwhile, Roland is still in his corner here. And he's he's got a bunch of flashes heading towards Roland's way. He can probably build another factory here pretty soon. He's already got a decent amount of metal in the bank. We're only going to get some more cons out. And he should be able to intercept this flash before it gets to that metal extractor, but we will see. Rock might just target that down. A uh, nice little... Nice little maneuver there, but it wasn't quite enough. But here comes two more flashes, and uh, there you go. Roland's reacting to that now. All right, let's see what's Rock. Yep, so Rock's already got a second factory up. So he does have a lot more production. Looks like Roland's going into some storms. Which, uh, they have pretty good range. And they're, uh, they shoot out missiles that, uh, do quite a bit of damage. Very good at clearing, uh, missile towers out. Um, and you can do pretty well with them. You can kite, you can kite back with them and use their range. So they can kind of bully, um, these AKs in numbers if you use them well, if you kite and just effectively use their range. 
Rock building more energy as he is uh, uh, stalling. Uh, probably wants to get a con out here pretty shortly to start queuing up some solars. So this is a moon map, so uh, at least the most of the moon maps I've played, usually energy is very low or at zero on the moon map. So you're you're usually going to be building solars on these moon maps. Rock getting some uh, LLTs, some light laser towers in good spots. Like these, see how he, he puts it in between like a nice little choke. Uh, that's where these light laser towers do best. Like one right here, one right here would be pretty good. And Rock doing some nice raiding here. Gonna get this uh, K-Bot Con. As, uh, Roland is just now reacting to that. Looks like Roland's trying to. Oh, he's gonna go for that Con, but. Uh, is he gonna get it? It's uh, no, it barely gets away. It's like three percent, five percent HP, man. So rock lucking out right there. You almost, you almost got him, Roland. You almost got him. Roland degunning uh, that little flash in the corner there. You can really see the experience uh, shining in this game for Rock here. As uh, he hasn't really taken uh, any damage at all from these raids so far, just everything perfectly timed, like the light laser tower getting up at a good time to stop this attack, and now he's sending units to clean all this up. Meanwhile, Rock is sending flashes out to the corner expansion, making sure Roland's not doing any sneaky, sneaky plays, sending a con to the corner, building a base there. This is a good fight for Rock as he's getting close enough to these storms to... Um, Get those EMG shots off, off those uh, flashes. But I think Roland just has a little too much here. Um, does leave some wreckage here, but just look at Rock, man. He's he's already pushing onto Roland's side of the map. And now he's got the factory just nonstop making cons. So you're really going to start seeing Rock just blow up here he's going to take the whole map at this rate um both players have a lot of uh metal in the bank here rocks i think making the right move here and he's going to go into advanced vehicle and he's queuing up a bunch of solars because uh, he's going to need energy for this advanced factory here. Roland getting in, getting some vehicle tech. Uh, he really uh, shot himself in the foot here with uh, the K-Bot start. Um, K-Bot's actually very, very strong on smaller maps, but uh, this map is just a little too big. Uh, the mexes are pretty spread out, so you, you want to have the faster construction, which is vehicle uh, construction units to expand with. The K-Bot cons don't quite cut it. On a smaller map where the distances are shorter, the K-Bot cons actually do quite well, and you can get a lot more AKs out uh, early on and overwhelm your opponent if they go vehicle, but yeah, the, the the map size is too big here for that to really have any benefit. 
If you look at Rocky, he's got cons basically everywhere. He's gonna take everything. And he's gonna go straight into Panthers, which is like a, they're very quick, uh, high DPS. Just an all around good Raider unit uh, for the vehicle plant. Like these things zoom, man, they zoom in. Uh, Roland building Raiders. Uh, not the best unit. Uh, I would definitely make gators or slashers in this situation. Slashers would probably be easier for Roland to control as uh, they do have a lot of range so they can cover a nice big area. But as you can tell, Rock is just not letting Roland leave this corner. <laughs> Roland says, oops, yeah, it looked like he can, he like blew, I think he controlled deed a bunch of his, uh, his units. He self-destructed them. Yeah, see, Rock's already knocking on Roland's door here with his expansion. And once he gets these Panthers in a decent number, uh, that should be the nail in the coffin here. At this point, there's, there's no way for uh, Roland to come back at this point. Here comes, uh, now these, these raiders are actually very good against these light laser towers, so that's a good use for them. But here come the panthers, uh, the tier two units are probably going to overwhelm this army though. They're, they're just pretty strong. So the panthers and flashes should clean this army up. And then, uh, uh there's not really much left. Roland doesn't really have much left here. He's trying to build an advanced K-Bot lab now. But I don't think it'll be done in time as he, he he's he's on 15 metal. So he's probably stalling pretty hard here. Um, you can do a little cheeky. So one thing you can do is you can reclaim your factory and then rush advance with it. as it Because when you reclaim a factory, you get your full metal back. Um, for how much you spent on building it, you'll get your metal back, and then you can put that metal towards the advanced factory. You'll see that a lot, actually, in high-level games, or like, see, on Gods of War. Um, you'll start out with a vehicle or K-Bot factory, and then you reclaim it, and then you rush out a air factory super fast to claim the islands. And Roland taps out. He says, GG. And... Rock goes 2-0 in this best of three, and he will move on to the semifinals. Um, and actually, so we got Frieza and Venom on one side of the best uh, uh, of the round of four, and then actually I play versus Rock on the other side. So you got a full tag semifinals. Um, if you want to check out my round of eight games versus Postal, um, I will put that here at the end of the video. If you like today's cast, um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Uh, I'd really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, give a like, comment, all that good stuff. Um, all right, so I will see you guys on the round of four. Um, yeah. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.